friends, this is Brian with the Kentucky Woodsman and today I'm in my kitchen and I got a smoker and so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can smoke some of the catfish we caught last year in the trout line. I had some frozen up and I thought what I would do today is, uh, let me zoom this in for you, I thought what I would do today is go ahead and try just a few different things on it. I've never smoked fish before but uh, I heard catfish is kind of a an oily type of fish, you know, and so it smokes really well. So what I thought I would do is uh, I've already put a little bit of the seasoning on one side and I'm going to put some on the other side, but uh, what I'm going to do is put some lemon pepper on one of them. And I know some people from the videos I've watched, uh, they'll go ahead and soak this, uh, but I'm just going to try it this way. I'm going to put a little bit of the seasoning on there. That's lemon pepper. And then on this one right over here, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Old Bay. That's got a pretty good taste to it also. So I'll put a little of that on this side here. I've got some hickory wood that I'm going to put in my smoker too. And uh, that's supposed to make it uh, really a delicious taste there. And then my next one, uh, I saw in one guy's video where um, he went ahead and used uh, soy sauce and a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of liquid smoke. So uh, let me grab the liquid smoke here. And some Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I say it. So, okay, so let's put a little soy sauce in here. That's good. A little bit of hot sauce. A little bit of liquid smoke. I'm already going to have the hickory stuff, but maybe that will soak into the fish a little. And a little bit of uh, Heinz Worcester, Worcestershire sauce. Again, y'all probably say that better than I can, but you know, you know what it is. So, let's get there. Mix this up. Ooh, boy, it's looking good already. Okay. I'm going to take this fillet right here and yeah, let's just dip her in. Yes sir, oh that smells good already, Lord have mercy. I don't know which one's going to taste the best, but I thought, well, heck if we're trying this out anyway, let's just try them all. Okay, so that's our three, that's our three types that we're going to go ahead and put in the smoker and we get zoomed in on them and we've got uh, lemon pepper and we've got our soy sauce, Worcestershire uh, hot sauce mix and then we've got our Old Bay and you know the good thing too about the uh, about the lemon pepper and the Old Bay if they turn out very well then they on I can uh, I can just throw that in my backpack and when I'm out in the woods, just sprinkle a little bit of that on there and make me a smoking teepee and put my fish in there and cure some up. And Now if we're wanting this to keep, we want to make sure that we soak it in salt, a real heavy salt brine. And most of the guys were using uh, like a cup of salt, the kosher salt, and letting it soak in there for a couple of hours. So anyway, I'm just going for the taste right now. We'll eat all these up for supper. And uh, so they're not going to be in any type of storage at all. But uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and put them on the smoker. Okay, friends, this is Brian again. Uh, we're outside here now with the smoker, and uh, I've had our delicious uh, catfish marinating here for probably about an hour or so. And uh, well, in the meantime, I went ahead and got the smoker going, got the wood smoking real good. So uh, put the water in there and all. And uh, so let's go ahead and put this on and uh, get it smoked up so we can give it a try. I'll go ahead and 
pop this open here. I put some hickory in here, and we got just enough smoke to get her going. Let me zoom in on it a little bit for you. I went ahead and put a little aluminum foil in it. There we go. Put a little, little aluminum foil on it. And uh, that's our lemon pepper catfish. And I poked some holes in there too. So I didn't know how bad the fish might stick to uh, this grill. So I want to take a chance on it. Putting off a little bit of a heat. They said it's about 200 and... Uh, 205 degrees or something like that is supposed to be the optimal range for uh, smoking. So, we'll just put that down. Oh, I tell you what, that looks good already. Okay, so I put down the uh, lemon pepper catfish, the uh, the Old Bay uh, catfish, and then we made up our own uh, recipe on this one here. Uh, a little bit like one of the guys' videos, has a little bit of soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and uh, some smoked uh, flavoring in there, and uh, so we're going to give a try on that and see what it tastes like. So anyway, let's uh, put this back on here. Now they said it'll take about five hours to do, so uh, we'll check on it, you know, here and there and see how it's looking and all, and then the guy who uh, had this recipe going on with the middle one, uh, he said if you take it out and let it cool, then it tastes a little bit better. So we might just take a little piece hot and then cool it off and try it then too. So anyway, I will be back with you uh, in a few hours here. Okay, friends, uh, we've waited about two and a half hours or so, and I noticed the smoke was going down. So uh, I was going to go ahead and put in some more of the, um, of the hickory, and uh, it looks like the fish is done really well. So uh, let me take the camera off here. And I'll show it to you. All right. So what I did is inside the smoker, with this little door right here, uh, there's a heating element. It's a uh, electric one. I've got it plugged in right there. So uh, what I did is I took some aluminum foil. I put some hickory in there. I split the hickory. I've still got a wood pile right there. But I split a bunch of the hickory. And... Uh, Anyway, I stuck it in some aluminum foil and uh, set it right in there on the burner and uh, put a pan of water right in there and that way the pan would put up some humidity uh, along with the smoke and uh, so here's our fish and I tell you what it's just done as it gets right there so uh, I hate to cook it anymore it looks like because the pan of water was so far down in there that it looks like our uh, it looks like our fish kind of dried out on us. So I guess what I'll do next time is maybe um, maybe I'll put the fish directly over the top of the pan of water, and uh, that'll keep it a little bit more moist. But uh, let's see, try a little bit of this. This is the one with the soy sauce, the Worcestershire, and the liquid smoke. Um, I'm trying to think what else we put in it, but you. You can review it at the beginning of the video. Hmm. It's okay. I've had a heck of a lot better. Does taste uh, smoky, and you can sure taste the catfish, but uh, not my favorite. That that was okay. Uh, let's try this one over here now. This is the one with the. Uh, lemon pepper. So let's try that one. That looks pretty good. Mm. I like that a lot better. Very good. It's got a lot better taste to it than the other. I could stand to eat that while I was out camping. Uh, both of them still lack a salty taste. I wish I would have soaked it in salt brine first, but uh, Anyway, live and learn there. Now let's try this one here is with the uh, Old Bay. Yeah, that's real moist there. Mmm. That's got a really good taste to it, too. <clears throat> 
I think the uh, the Old Bay and the lemon pepper are definitely good. They've got a really, really good taste to it. I could see myself just enjoying a camping trip with both of them. So, anyway, if uh, if you're out and about and uh, want to make you some smoked fish, uh, personally, I would throw away the recipe at the beginning of this. Uh, we mixed up a few things that ain't really any good. Uh, with a bunch of salt may be added to it if it tastes good if you soak it in it, but definitely the um, definitely the lemon pepper and the Old Bay, uh, they were good. So uh, thank you for joining me here. I know this was a pretty short video, but I hadn't made one in a little while, and uh, I just wanted to see you all again and send something out to you. So God bless, and you get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. Talk to you later.